uh, anything is possible. In 2011, my parents left to Somalia and went to Malaysia. When they left, I stayed behind and lived with my aunt. I was 11 years old. My aunt had seven kids. It was kind of hard to take care of me. It was hard to live without my family. I didn't like how I felt without them. After about nine months, I got a chance to go to Malaysia and start living with my family again. I had, I had two friends that were also going to fly with me because they were going to college in Malaysia. We flew from Somalia to Dubai and had to wait one day for the other plan. Right before we boarded the next plan, I realized that I, lost, I had lost my passport. It took, about, it took about 10 days for me to get a new one. My two friends who were traveling with me also had to stay until I got my passport. We slept in the airport on the ground during those 10 days. They couldn't leave me because I was only 11 years old. It was also tough because the food was spicy and everything was expensive. Eventually, we finished everything. We happily went to Malaysia. I enjoyed my family in Malaysia and I was so happy. I did not start school right away when I arrived in Malaysia. I had to wait two years. The school was good and I slowly learned in English and Malayu. If you speak Malayu, it was easier. I played soccer for the school and I won the championship with my team during my first year. After one year, I had to drop out because my dad was not working. And he, did, he didn't have enough money to pay for us to go to school. A school and lunch cost money. Nothing was free there. Thank you. I also wanted to mention that within some of those stories, you may hear some of um, their native language. So they were encouraged to put some phrases or words of their native language. And then they also have a glossary in the back to show you, um, to, so you can see what their language means as well. So if you hear that, that's what that is. Nirjala Mangar. Nirjala was born in a refugee camp in Nepal. She was nine years old when she came to the United States. She came with her mom, dad, and her brother. She is a freshman at Fargo South High School. Nirjala speaks four languages, Nepali, Magar, English, and Hindi. Her favorite subjects are math and science. When Nirjala grows up, she wants to go to college and become a doctor. Nirjala. I'm from. I'm from warm villages and mild climates. From the Christian church was Sabbath Christmas. From marigold flower as bright as the sun. From Saturday night talk, tan skin, black hair. From share, poppy, and monger. I'm from the quiet and reserved like a sleeping baby. From listening to Nihakakar song and watching comedy movies. From being to toe, respect others and talk only when I have something important to say. From Heartland Community Church was seven, my faith. From Nepal and Bhutan and Dalbat and Omilata. From the refugee camp with lots of freedom but a difficult life. From cooking with my mom, I'm 14 years of laughter, craziness, and happiness. Thank you. Sala Abdi. Sala was born in Somalia in 1999. He came to America on October 4th, 2016. He came with his mother, grandmother, two brothers, one you've already heard from, and three sisters. He's 20 years old and a senior at Fargo South High School. He has eight members in his family. He speaks three languages, Zigwa, Swahili, and English. His favorite subjects are history and math, and in the future, he wants to become an electrician. Salah. Oh.
the view from the mango tree. What's wrong? Why are you all here? I asked my cousin. Grandfather is ill, she, he suddenly replied. I went into the house. My grandfather was lying on the bed. My mom was there too. I was happy to see her. I hadn't seen her in years because I lived with my grandparents. They wanted to help raise me because my mom was young when she had me. I greeted her happily and went near my grandfather. He looked like he was just sleeping on the bed. Is he asleep? I asked my grandmother quietly. No. She suddenly replied. Everyone in the house was sad. Whenever I tried to ask them something, they didn't answer me. I tried to ask my grandfather himself. He didn't say a word. He was just snoring. After a few minutes, he stopped snoring. I touched his body. It was so cold. Why is his body so cold? I asked my mom. My uncle came near and touched him. Then he said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. And everyone started crying, but I didn't cry. My grandmother took us outside. Meanwhile, some men came into the room with a lot of water. What is that water for? I asked my grandmother. They're going to wash your, your grandfather, she replied. After a few hours, they brought something look like a ladder. They put him on it and took him to the grave. I tried to follow, but they stopped us because children and women are not allowed to go to the grave when someone is about to be buried. I really wanted to see what's going to happen. So I snuck out and I climbed in a tall nearby tree. My grandmother stayed down on the ground because she couldn't cream. I watched from a distance, and I saw everything they were doing. They put him down, they prayed for him, then they buried him. After what I saw, I finally believed that he was dead. I will never see him again. To be continued. Thank you. Benita Magar. Benita was born in Nepal in 2003. She came to the United States in 2015 with her family. She is 16 years old and a junior at Fargo South. She lives in Fargo with eight of her family members. She speaks four languages, Nepali, English, Magar, and Hindi. Her favorite sport is soccer. Her favorite subject is math. She wants to become a soccer player in the future. Benita. I'm from I'm from Muddy Street and Rainy Days, from cold big Mount Everest, from celebrating Christmas, from wonderful flowers and picking them up, from eating rice, from black hair and tan skin, from Dilmaya and Hari. I'm from the friendly and outgoing, from Hirani and Lady B, from go do your homework and come back home fast, from the Christian church big weddings and marketplaces, from going to the river and diving in, from I am from being kind to everyone, from giving to the ones who are in need, from 16 years of fun, laughter, sadness, and craziness. Thank you. Pradeep Rai. Pradeep was born in Japa, Nepal, and grew up in a camp called Tathri Camp. In 2013, he came to the United States with his family. He is 16 years old and a sophomore at Fargo South High School. He speaks two languages, Nepali and English. Pretty likes to play soccer and lift weights. His favorite subject is math. Pretty hopes to earn a degree in mechanics. Pretty. far away from home. One day at recess, I decided to go on swings. I hopped on and 
was pumping my legs to get really high. I was enjoying my time alone and thinking about what would I do when I got home. All of a sudden, I felt someone push me hard. Ah, I cried. I fell on my ground, as I fell on the ground. I fell on my knees and started to cry a lot. I looked up and saw a pretty girl with a black hair standing over me. She was laughing. I was so mad. I thought about pushing her back, but I did not want to get in trouble. I just got up and limped away, hoping nobody saw me. I did not tell my teacher because my English was not good enough to explain what happened. I did not think she would understand me. When I got home, I told my parents, teacher like Rana, my mom told me, but I never did. School was a lot different in U.S. than it was in Nepal. First, we had to walk about 20 minutes to get to school in the refugee camp. If we did not listen to the teacher or did not do homework, we would get beaten with a stick. We sat on a big bench that could fit three or four people on it. The school was dirty, I mean, the bathroom was dirty and smelly because nobody would clean it. In Fargo, I took bus most of the days and ate at school. For lunch in Nepal, I would walk home and eat food my mom made. When I was in fourth grade, I decided to walk to school. It was winter in Fargo. I enjoyed walking in Nepal, but I did not realize how cold Fargo could really get. I did not have hat or gloves. My fingers started to get cold and turn red and then purple. It was so cold, the day after that, I got sick and I had to stay home for two days. Thank you, to continue. Mark Iventito was born in the Philippines and came to the U.S. with his parents. He is 18 years old and is a sophomore at Fargo South High School. He speaks three languages, Visaya, Filipino, and English. His favorite activities are playing video games, basketball, volleyball, guitar, and watching anime. His favorite subject is history. In the future, he wants to become a computer programmer. Mark. I am from. I am from where the sun rises and a land full of coconut trees, from festivals and lighting candles, from an active group of kids playing like we're on a playground, from eating rice, black hair, brown skin, from Eileen and the unknown, from hospitable, hardworking, loving and caring. I am from Baroque and Edgar, Eraser's Head, the 2000s and the punk rock from being friendly and responsible, from a fun neighborhood with kids playing on streets, from Cebu, Philippines, rice, dried fish, and boiled vegetable soup, from going to seas and rivers and hunting birds in the forest like predators. I am from under the heat of the sun and hanging out with friends on the big trees like it's our home, from a tropical country, the snowy road, I am from 18 years of laughter, sadness, happiness, and being handsome. Thank you. All right. Gentil Iracose. Gentil was born in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He is 20 years old, and he came to the United States by himself in 2016. He's a senior at Fargo South High School and speaks six languages. In the future, he wants to be a professional soccer player. Gentil.
uh, it's hard from it's hard move from Africa. When I was in Kenya, I used to like to ride my bike. So when I go to Fargo Lutheran Social Service, they helped me to get a bike. I was so excited. I met friends that also have a bike together. We used to ride our bikes to practice, school, to go shopping, since none, none of us have a license or car to drive. One day we ride our bikes and racing. My friend was in front of me and he fell down. I fall over him, landing on my chest and my arm. I got up and I saw blood, so I rushed to go home to get bandages. When I arrived in Fargo, I loved to eat chicken. My friend and I, we used to wake up every morning just to eat chicken. <laughs> Along with bread. We used to eat too much in general. And we got really fat. <laughs> we used to go somewhere with friends. They make fun of us how big we were. When we tried to sit in the back seat of the car, we were uncomfortable because of how, how, we, how big we, was, we were. We, was, we started to eat a lot when we came because it was free and cheap. In Africa, it was very expensive and hard to buy. We used to go to KFC every day <laughs> just to eat. We could even pray soccer for fast months because we didn't feel well enough to run. Finally, we get tired of food. We start to eat healthier. We, st we start to play soccer slowly, get back in shape. We still eat a little more, but more than others. <laughs> but, but we were finally able to play soccer to our best ability. Even, even though it was hard to move from Africa to Fargo, and many things were different, I was thanks for that I ended up where I did. I was so happy to be able to have a good education with teachers who cared about me to be content. Thank you. Okay, so our final musical act of the day is a duet by the brother-sister duo, um, Joshua Rudeha, who you heard from, and Samani Kizan. Being a refugee can no stop me for being a superstar. I'm not gonna make it from zero to hero. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it from bottom to top. I'm young, I'm young, I'm I'm 
2000 in Congo. He came to the United States by himself when he was 15 years old. He is a senior at Fargo South High and speaks four languages, Kiyawanda, French, English, and Swahili. His favorite classes are history and math. He wants to become a politician in the future. Edmund. I'm from. I'm from tropical hot, humid, and the rain. I'm from fresh mango. I'm from Christian family that go to church every Sunday and they celebrate Christmas. I'm from Christian and the brown yards. I'm from Yada and the Ramunda family. I'm from Wakanda. I'm from the family. I'm from the fun family. That's nice and the barbecue. I'm from reggae and the actual movie. I'm from always working hard and always being happy. I'm from Christian. I'm from the United Emirates, Congo, Burundi, and Kenya. I'm from the businessman family and the sports. I'm from slow to trust but too quick to forgive. I'm from getting good grades and playing soccer. I'm from 19 years old of love, craziness, and the happiness, and the, the end. Ansu Kumara. Ansu Kumara was born in Liberia, Africa, and he came to the U.S. in 2012. He is a junior at Fargo South High and he is 17 years old. His favorite thing to do in his free time is to play basketball with friends and family or watch movies. In the future, he wants to go to college. Ansu.
Liberia to America. I was in Pennsylvania for a year, and life there was pretty good. My parents put me in a public school, and I started going to school, and I didn't know how to speak English that well. I didn't know how to read spell that well, so kids didn't make fun of me, but I didn't really pay attention to them. One day in gym class, a group of kids walked up to me, pretending to be my friends, but they just wanted to bully me. When I was getting dressed, they walked up to me and tried to take my stuff. That kind of made me mad. And then later on that day, they, they went, they jumped, they stuck. They jumped me and started to beat me up. They banged my head against the locker. And when I got home, I told my parents about it. But they didn't really believe me. When it, when I, when it happened again, the police got involved. And, my, and the police had to talk to my parents and the school about it. One day, my parents got a call from my uncle that lived in Fargo, North Dakota. He encouraged my parents to move to Fargo because he said the, the job here was great and life was great and the school was great for, for the kids. It, my parents decided to move to Fargo. Everything was going well. The school, the school was good and the kids were a little nicer. The teacher helped me understand more when I'm struggling in class and don't know what to do. And this slowed down when you like falling behind and not getting your stuff right. One thing I like about a teacher was they were calm, nice, and understanding, and really, really beautiful and be nice to be continued. Okay, so we're gonna pause there for just one second. Um, and we have a special guest with us today. And this is kind of having some feedback. Um, so we had a keynote speaker that came and did a presentation for the students when they first started their project. And Leticia mizero Hellerud uh, was able to tell her story to my students and talk to them about how to share their stories. So I'd like to welcome Leticia. She's here today over here. Yes. Um, in addition to that, I wanted to note that she had just announced that she is actually running for District 22 Senate seat to be a politician. So go out and vote if you can. So continuing on. And so students, this has a little feedback, so stand back a little bit further, okay? Can you guys come up? I think from moving it. Jama. Jama Abdi Rahman was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He is 14 years old and a freshman at Fargo South High School. He has five siblings in his family. He speaks Somali and English. He is in basketball and his favorite subject is science. He wants to become an engineer in the future. Jama. I am from, I am from a hot dry land and long cornfields, from eat and so much money giving, from long limbs of cheese and war and killing, from Ramadan and too much food at the mosque, from loving parents, from discipline and good behavior, from so many family events, from being scared and getting scared, from being afraid at the mosque and reading the Quran, I'm from Minneapolis and Somalia, from eating sambusa in Algeria, from eating too much food and watching TV during holidays, from five siblings and so many cousins, from basketball and playing soccer barefoot. I'm from 14 years of laughing and being crazy. Geraldine one day came to America in 2012 with her brother and two older sisters. She is 16 years old and a sophomore at Fargo South. She has one brother and seven sisters. She enjoys writing and listening to music. Her favorite classes are art and English. Geraldine's favorite sports are basketball and track. 
She throws the shot put and discus in track. In the future, she would like to become a computer scientist. Geraldine. petrified in fear. I wonder what kiddo meant. Although I was scared, I stayed because for some reason I felt a little warm. I really never knew my parents. I had to work for everything I ever wanted since the age of five. The thought of fighting in a big and scary country came to me as well. Even though I had two older sisters and one other brother in Liberia with me. Everyone had to work and care for themselves. By the age of six, I could cook, clean, and work for myself. We lived with my uncle's good friend and never really knew her until we first met and had to stay with her or be homeless. At first, she was nice, especially when my uncle was around, but then she changed and got meaner and meaner each day. We went from sharing housework with everyone, including her and her kids, to having to do them all by ourselves. She had a shop. Her and her older daughter were usually at the shop. Later on, it got worse. She would make us stay home from school just to work in her shop. She made us do unthinkable things that each and every one of my siblings and I shall never forget. Even though life in Liberia was hard at times, but there are also very good memories, like hanging out with friends, the people, and most importantly, the rich culture. I was still scared, not knowing what to expect in America. It was like a new world. We went on three different planes in two and a half days. I remember on the second day, we went to sleep. We had to sleep in Chicago's airport because we had nowhere else to go. We landed at our destination on July 8, 2012 in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. When we arrived, we met our mom. I was greeted by a friendly, light-skinned woman. Mom, is that really you? I asked. La ma fan daughter there, she said. As tears fill our eyes, I felt a little warm hands touching, big warm hands touching my back. That was my dad. We all hugged while crying. As the day went by, life in America got much better. I made more friends, learned more about the culture and the language. It got easier for me to speak in front of class and partner up with other kids. My life wasn't perfect. And America wasn't the wonderland I thought it would be. Even so, I still am happy and hope that my future will be a good one. Thank you. Pacific Sibomana. Pacifique was born in Congo. He came to the U.S. in September of 2016. He is a senior at Fargo South High School. He speaks Swahili and English. His favorite sports are soccer and track, and his favorite subjects are history and math. His dream job is to become an electrical engineer. Pacifique. I'm from Wenge, 
black skin and brown eyes, and a caring family. I'm from Luzi's family and helping one another. I'm from the movie Wakanda and playing loud music while dancing. I'm from respect all the people and make your own choices. I'm from going to church every Sunday. I'm from laying away sunny every day with thick, thick humid air. I'm from great grandpa telling stories at night. I'm from playing soccer and hide and seek. I'm from 18 years of happiness and craziness. Shasit Tamang. Shasit was born in Joppa, Nepal. He came to the U.S. in 2016 with his mother and little brother. He is 18 years old, and he is a senior at Fargo South High School. His favorite subjects are math and English. In the future, he wants to be a professional soccer player or pilot. Shasit. Thank you.